So, scenes like this of hurricanes such as Irma get more common. What is the real cause of these hurricanes? And there are lots of people out there who say, well, it's global warming. But they're wrong. They're very wrong. The real cause of these hurricanes is temperature difference. It's not whether the whole earth is getting warmer or whether the whole earth is getting cooler. It's the difference in temperature between the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. And that is the real pump that powers these incredible winds that reach hundreds of miles an hour over a diameter of hundreds of miles. So are the global warming people wrong? Yes, they're wrong because, well, man-made global warming is wrong. The planet as a whole has got recently slightly warmer, but it's about to get terribly colder. And as the little ice age begins to get a grip and deepens, going in towards 2024, I'm afraid that scenes like this are going to become more and more commonplace. And the reason why is that the southern oceans will stay more or less the temperature that they are. But the northern oceans are going to cool drastically in the winter. And so you're going to have very, very cold air in the northern hemisphere of the planet and warm air in the southern hemisphere. And that is a recipe for massive hurricanes. Now, there is a chance that some of these hurricanes may become permanent. And this is something that people don't like to talk about. And I'm one of these people who don't like to really talk about it because I find the idea completely abhorrent. I've lived through a very small hurricane that happened here in the south of England a few years ago that none of the weathermen predicted and it just kind of turned up overnight. The tree in my garden fell over and killed my next door neighbour's cat. She turned up at half past two in the morning saying your tree killed my cat and while she was standing there there were big panels of wood whizzing through the air and she could have been decapitated. This is what hurricanes are like. Now this is one reason why it's worthwhile keeping an eye on the frequency and the severity of hurricanes because it's yet another indicator that we're going into the little ice age. That the winters are getting colder year upon year so the temperature between the north and the south hemisphere that temperature difference increases so we'll see more hurricanes and stronger hurricanes and we'll see hurricanes and tropical storms in places where we have never had them before. They will last longer, they will be more violent, and that is just one of the effects, apart from the cold in the Northern Hemisphere, that a little ice age will have on the whole of the world. And that is if it stays as a little ice age. Now, one of the mechanisms for um, deepening an ice age is the loss of temperature from the planet as a whole. And hurricanes aid in this by redistributing that warm temperature from the south up to the north and the colder temperatures from the north down to the south. And so as an ice age deepens, the prevalence of hurricanes gets less and less and less until they stop altogether. And it's worthwhile remembering that in this day and age we are actually in an ice age. And this is something I keep saying. You can look it up, you can Google it, people don't believe me. I've had the comments, I've had emails. But we are actually in an ice age. Now during an ice age you get these periods of unusual warmth. They last somewhere around about 10 to 15,000 years and we're in one at the moment called the Holocene 
and we're approaching the end of that. If you look at the average gap, we're at the end of that. So will our little ice age, like the one that happened a few hundred years ago, actually turn into the end of the Holocene and the switching of the planet over back to its normal state? Because we have to remember that the normal state of this planet is cold. The normal state of this planet is covered in ice with a little bit of liquid water in the southern hemisphere and the rest of the planet basically a frozen ball. Um, now that would make life very, very difficult. And this brings me on to another point, and that is the demonization of CO2 and why and why we're trying to reduce human global warming at a time when, if anything, we should be looking to increase our effect on warming the atmosphere to counteract the coming ice age. But no one will talk about the fact that there's an ice age coming, not um, in the media, no scientists will talk about it in public, although they publish papers on it. And why is this? The answer is it goes against the wishes of those who actually control this world. If you look at the Georgia Guidestones and various other things, you'll see that the big objective is population reduction. Now, our own Duke of Edinburgh here in the UK said to us, said as a giveaway, as a throwaway, he said that most human beings are like viruses and he wished that he could exterminate us all. Well, that is the attitude of the ruling elite. Especially now, robots coming on stream, artificial intelligence, they don't need us. So they need to embark on population reduction. What better way the, of doing that than to take out the man-made proportion, however small it is, of climate change to make the climate warmer at a time when we're about to plunge into um, a very, very cold period where food will be difficult and um, around about in the Little Ice Age, they reckon that around about one third of the population of Northern Europe perished. And if it was to happen nowadays, the situation would be worse. Why is that? Because there is less agriculture. Nowadays, we're more efficient. So we do more with less land. And that is a big problem because when it gets really, really cold and your crop yields start going down through the floor, then you need more land. And if it's all built on, owned by someone who won't let you farm it, all the rest of it, then you can imagine the kind of famine and starvation that would result from that. So anyway, that's my two penneth on the recent hurricanes and um, while we need to be wary of hurricanes and especially their increase in frequency, duration and severity. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you very much.